we went to Puerto Rico and the way that it happened was um, last week, uh, my brother, we went to a birthday dinner for my brother because actually his birthday is on Sunday, the 19th of January. And um, we were at this dinner and my parents were talking about how like on his real birthday that uh, they're going to be in Puerto Rico. And then we started talking about the trip and basically... Um, they were like, oh yeah, well there's actually really cheap flights. And me and my brother were like, well, if we buy a, if we buy one of these cheap flights, can we just like come? And they're like, yeah, sure. So basically me and my brother, we got, uh, tickets, um, like kind of last minute, uh, like really last minute. We bought them last week and we tagged along with my parents and it was super fun. But they were really inexpensive, right? Yeah. We bought them on points. So basically, so, so I'll get it. I'll go into this story because this is kind of funny. And also this story, I'm just going to say, is going to paint me to be, to look like a dick. Okay. This story is going to paint me to look like a dick. Paint you? It's going to paint my dick red. Mm. No, I'm just kidding. It's going to, it's going to make me look like a dick. And I'll probably admit that it, that I probably was a dick in this circumstance, but I will tell it nonetheless. So. Well, I guess it was good intentions, right? Yes, it was good <laughs> intentions. Was I doing that? No, I just. Oh. <laughs> So anyways, so anyways, uh, the tickets were very, very cheap and we were buying them on points. So we have like, it was on Delta and my brother and I were trying to book the same flights that my parents had. And basically it was saying that if we wanted the same flight, it was like, so 10,000 points is like a roughly equivalent to a hundred dollars. Okay. So there was like on the way there, it was like 10,000 we could get on their flight. So it was literally like a hundred dollar flight there. And if we wanted the same flight on the way back, it was going to be like 60000 It was going to be like $600 in points equivalent. But if we did, chose a different flight, there were some other options, and there were, were some for like 11000 or like, you know, um, 20000 whatever. But it's just more convenient when you're traveling, you know, with other people to just get the same flights, whatever. Mm-hmm. But my brother figured out that if we flew, if we, you know, finagled the options and whatever, that if we flew regular economy there and chose the first class option for the return flight somehow some way there was like a couple of open spots in first class and it was um uh only like 20,000 for first class which is like insane like only 200 a 200 dollar first class 200 dollar first That's, class and gr- and it was going to say that economy was 600 so it was literally cheaper for us to fly first class than it was for us to fly economy on this specific flight so we decided to do it and all along, part of our intention was like, okay, like mom and dad are taking us on this trip. Let's give them the first class, but we should like mess with them a little bit. So let's not tell them about the first class thing and let's just like go. So on the way there, we do our normal economy. And for those of you who don't know, I don't know the exact plane names, but they're, the, the plane that took us there was, um, was like a front loading type plane and there was only one aisle. So it's like three seats on one side, three seats on the other, mm-hmm. like a standard kind of just normal flight. And the first class was not like the lay down seats or anything like that. It was just like the lay down, I think <clears throat> is the a three eighty. Uh, that's the one with double deckers. Like that one's like insane. Okay. Then I'm yeah. wrong. Yeah. I think it's like seven, four, seven. I don't know, but it's, it's, I think it's an A th- something is the one I'm not, there's a I'm bunch. Not into planes. There's tons. Yeah, exactly. Not into planes. Sorry, A380s guys. double decker. I've flown on one of those. It was sick, but um, it didn't have lay down seats. It was just like normal first class, and you load from the front. And so we're like, oh, this is gonna be perfect on the way back. We're gonna like we we'll have sky priority, so we'll get to like go first, and then we'll go sit in the first class seats. And then when mom and dad pass us, we'll be like, hey, mom and dad, actually you can sit here. We'll take your seats, right? Mm-hmm. So on the way back. We're, we're my, so also another thing that adds to us being total dicks is my dad recently had back surgery. So my dad was being, uh, wheeled through the airport on a wheelchair cause he, he like, he can't walk for super long distances. So he was a, tra- he, was he, was being out, transported. he was being transported. Yeah, literally. And, um, so when we get to the airport in Puerto Rico on the last day, um, me and my brother were like, Oh, you know, cause my dad was checking a bag. So my mom stayed with my dad and he was like, you guys can just go ahead. 
you guys can go to the lounge and get food because my also another thing is my brother signed us up for this awesome American Express card that gives us access to a bunch of lounges. So we were in, uh, we were going to this one lounge. It was actually in a different terminal than the terminal our flight was out of. We were in, we were flying out of Terminal C or Terminal B, and the the lounge is in Terminal C. It doesn't really matter. But anyways, so me and my brother went to Terminal C to go to this lounge, and my dad and my mom, since we were kind of cutting it close, we didn't have tons of time. My dad decided because he was already getting rolled there, like he's like, screw it, I'll skip the lounge, I'll just go to the to the main. I'll just go to our normal terminal. Mm -hmm. And then my mom actually ended up coming over to the lounge. So me and my brother are like scarfing down some free food, getting our, you know, our lounge on or whatever. And we're getting texts from my dad. And my dad's like, oh, I already got to go on first because I was, I'm in a wheelchair. So they let me on first. So my dad is already boarded by the time we're still in the lounge. And we're like, mm -hmm. okay, well now we need to go. And my mom, we're walking, we're walking, we're walking. And my mom's like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. So me and my, me and my brother are just like, okay, whatever. Like, okay, we'll just see you on the plane. And then we were like, oh, we have sky priority. So we go on to board. So now my mom is left outside. My dad's already on the plane and me and my brother are boarding. So we're all separated. And then we realize that the plane wasn't boarding from the front. The plane was boarding from the middle from the side so it's gonna go left or go right so economy goes right first class goes left i've been on one of those planes before, and it yeah. has two aisles not one yeah this was the, a flight that the, had the lay down seats yeah it's got the the three or four in the middle and then like the two or three on the left and the yep, two or three it had on the four right. in the middle and two and two yeah and and in the first class it's a one and one on the outsides and a two in the middle. So you basically get the equivalent of a two seat space for yourself. And you get to take a nap. And you get to literally like lay down completely. And it was a Delta one flight. It wasn't just like a normal first class thing for whatever reason. It was only four hours, but they served you a full on meal during this flight. That's so unnecessary for a four hour flight. But it was fucking awesome. So anyways, so me and my brother get on and we were going to like walk back. But the thing about it is like when the plane is loading like that, it you can't like go freely up and down the aisles, right? Like, mm -hmm. you you know, the everyone's going forward. You can't like cut across the flow of traffic and like go backwards. So we're like, okay, we'll wait. Because the, the idea was we could go back there and like give the seat to my dad or, you know, or my dad and mom, we could trade with them. But the other thing was, I'd never flown on Delta One before. My brother had. My brother got a free upgrade uh, one time, and I got left. That's a whole other story. But basically, my oh, brother got when to, you were in. We were in Rome, and yeah. my brother got to fly to New York City on Delta One. So my brother's already had this full Delta One experience, just throwing that out there, not trying to throw him under the bus or anything. Thanks, so, Matthew. Matthew's already had this experience. It was his birthday that weekend, though, but still. So anyways, uh... We like start getting situated and all this stuff. And then like the, once the plane is like, you know, once the aisles are clear, then they start do, giving the safety thing and start telling us to put on, you know, seatbelts and all this stuff. And I'm like, well, I can't really like switch it now. Like it'd just be weird. And like this whole thing. And, and then like, we, then we started like taking off. And then once we're in the sky, I like lay down and I'm just like. This is too nice. Like, I'm literally watching, like, I'm literally laying on my, how do you, like, when you're laying in bed, like, on your phone, how do you like to watch stuff? Uh, back, side, left, right, it doesn't matter. Okay, so my go-to is I lay on my side, and I have one arm under my pillow, mm -hmm. and then I kind of, like, hold the phone like this, mm -hmm. and if I have something, I'll, like, prop up prop my phone up against something so that I'm just like laying sideways and I was literally able to get into that position like so comfortably and at that point you're like sorry mom and, and I'm dad like literally like sorry, mom and watching dad. Netflix that I had pre-downloaded like laying down and I'm just like I'm sorry mom and dad this is like <laughs> way too sick and I feel like such a dick like in my brain I'm like okay like halfway through I'll like go back there and like trade or like and then it just kept getting like more and more and more. I'm like, I'm such a dick and I'm being so selfish right now. But like, once you, I am also once you reach so comfortable <laughs> and also it's going to be a whole thing like, you know, oh, well you come up and then you got to grab my luggage. You know, it's like, a, it's just, it was just going to be like a whole thing. And I'm just like, I'm a dick. I'm just yeah. owning the fact that I was a dick. I should have given my dad the seat. You know, he's like in pain. He just had surgery and all this stuff. But I was like. Honestly, I, I was just being selfish and I'm a dick. That's basically the bottom line. Yeah, once you were. And then my dad was low key kind of pissed. <laughs> <laughs> like, after we got off, he's like, you, uh, like, so, so my uncle was in another terminal because he was leaving. Uh -huh. 
to be able to go visit my uncle at the end. And me and my brother, he, my dad texted me like, you and Ann, you and Matthew are going to get off the plane first. So you guys go to Uncle Bruce's terminal, go see him, and then me and mom will catch up with you later. So I go and see my Uncle Bruce, and my Uncle Bruce is like, Wait, how did you guys get first class? And we're like, well, there's one thing. And he's like, you should have given that to your dad. I'm like, yeah, I know. And then my dad comes up and he's like, these assholes fucking got first class. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then like later he, I was like, my dad was like, are you hungry? Do you want to get anything? And I'm like, oh no. And I was like, did you guys get anything on the plane? He's like, yeah, fucking cookies and pretzels. What'd you get? I'm like, full beef, meal, beef stew and fucking like. And I was like, you fucking asshole. So then, <laughs> so then, like, later, I said something, Matthew was like, yeah, Mr. Beef Stew over here, or something like that. And then and then later on in the car, I felt really bad, because I was just like, damn, I fucked up. Like, I really should have given it to my dad. And later on in the car, I did apologize, and he was kind of like, oh, you know, I was just giving you a hard time. You didn't have to do it, blah, blah, blah. But I was like, yeah, but it would have been really nice, and, like, you know, you paid for our accommodations and food and stuff like this whole trip. Like it would have been really nice, but I was just like, God damn it. I fucked up. Yeah. I flew on a lay down to Hawaii once and it was a, a situation where it was kind of like, um, a previous trip I went on, I got like stuck in Detroit and every time the flight, like the flight would happen They'd be like, all right, our flights are overbooked. You know, does anyone want a voucher? Blah, blah, blah. So I just, I just, I stayed an extra night in Detroit. You just kept getting vouchers? I got, I got three $800 vouchers. Holy (laughs) shit. Yeah. So I was like, what's up? Like, I'll, I'll get bumped. I'll get bumped. I'll get bumped. So I had like 2,100 Delta dollars available. So I flew to and from. uh, With who? Your family? No, my buddy, uh, Chris and another buddy, Tim. Um, oh, that's funny. I never heard about this story. Oh, I'll have to. I'll have to tell you the full story. But um, it was, it was crazy because then, uh, Chris and I were the ones that decided to to stay. So it was Chris, Tim, and I. We all went to like Michigan, and that's where we kept getting all the bumps. And Chris and I were like, "Yo, we're milking this. Like, we're milking this out as hard as we can. We'll stay a night in freaking a hotel. We'll keep milking it as much as we can." Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We kept milking it. And then, uh, but Tim was like, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna milk it. And so eventually like Tim Cause went, he thought it was like not right or he just wanted to go home. He just wanted to go home. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can't blame him for that. Yeah. And Chris and I were like, we're chilling, you know, yeah, like we, yeah. we're just trying to get these free Delta dollars. And, um, so he went home and then like a couple of months later we went on this trip. Well, he only had like one $800 vouchers. He didn't have three like we did. So Chris and I got first class there and back and he was stuck in a, in, a co- in, a co- in economy and That's so we funny. kept like we kept like taking him stuff, you know. We would take him like a meal, or we could take him like some pudding, or like take him like the nice <laughs> cookies, or like the snack box. And the stewardess got really mad at us. Really? She's like, "It's not that you're giving it to your friend; it's just that everyone around your friend is now asking for these things, and we can't give them to him. And now everyone else is pissed." So she's yeah. like, "If you want to give something to him, have him come up here, have him eat it up here, and then he'll he'll go back." Yeah. Which was so funny because we kept just going Were back. Were you guys there. all wheelie boys or what was the deal? No, it was, it was, um, no, it was just, it's two oh, okay, days. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I didn't know if there was, a, if that was a, also a part of the complications. Like, oh, well, actually he's paralyzed so he can't get up here. Like, no, no, you know, no. Something like that. No, I didn't no, no. know. I was, I was the only wheelie boy. Oh, there we go. It's too, too, That's funny. too able-bodied folks. That's very funny. Yeah, but that lay down seat though. Clutch. Yeah. But we didn't get a lay down on the way back. Oh, uh, so it was from from Atlanta to like Honolulu was. Like, I'd almost rather have the lay down on the way home. Yeah, so it was like Atlanta to Honolulu, like one one you know big trip, and then we came from like Honolulu to um, L A. and then L A. to Atlanta. Uh, it wasn't a lay down, and but it was the same plane, but they made us get off. Like, I hate it when they do that. They're like, it's the same plane, but you got to get off so the stewardess can restock or whatever. And I'm like, come Some on. Some planes, they let you stay on. Well, this one, they didn't. So yeah. we're at LAX, and I, I lay on the ground because I'm dead beat tired. It's the middle of the night. It's literally, like, 3 or 4 a.m. And, like, some guy, like, pulled out a hammock and, like, strung it up in between two pillars. <laughs> like, it was, like, a whole thing. And I remember, That's like, fall, and I used, like, my, my cushion of my wheelchair to, like, use as a pillow. And then, like... On and then you got pink eye. No, I got so, no, I got so sick. I literally did. I got really sick. You think it was because of that? Uh, yeah, I laid on the floor at LAX. Everyone, oh, yeah, everyone talks about the LA flu, and yeah, I'm like, yeah, I yeah. got the LAX flu or whatever it was. The cold. I slept on the ground of a few airport, air, airports. 
It's yeah. gross. It's disgusting. And but LAX is like the most disgusting if you think about it. I don't know. I wouldn't want to sleep on the floor in Miami. Yeah, Miami would be pretty gross. I think New York City would be <laughs> New York City would be pretty gross. JFK is pretty gnarly. Yeah. Um yeah, there there's some there's definitely some gnarlier ones for sure. Yeah. Also maybe in America, yeah, too. But yeah, either way. Hope you enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full episode that that clip was from, you can click right here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you can click right here. And if you want to watch more clips, we got two more right here.